had an accident. The driver wasn't paying attention, someone cut in front of him. They flipped the wheel too fast, boom, over goes the trailer. Um, last time that happened, by the way, that I was aware of was on 128. The trailer had a um, fiberglass roof. Both the horses were ejected through the roof. Um, and the trailer landed on one of them. The Ipswich Humane Group um, asked us to do a training for um, local fire departments and ACOs. And what we're doing here today and, and yesterday is we're training them a little bit in horse behavior if they don't understand horse behavior. And then we're training them on how to use our rescue equipment. Because in most cases, if there is um, some kind of horse accident or problem, the fire department gets called. And what we're also training and uh, giving them a, an awareness of is that we're available to come and help them on uh, beeper numbers that veterinarians and fire departments have. So if the horse is tied up someplace or in some kind of problem, they can call us and we'll respond and work alongside them. There's a bunch of innocent bystanders. You have your veterinarian who can help pull. There's two too little space. What, what it does for them, I think, it, it gives them an understanding of our equipment so that when we, it, when we get there to help them, and now they know us, so they'll probably call us, but it gives them an understanding of our equipment and know how they can, we can help them and how they can help us use our equipment. It, they're not thrown into the breach, so to speak. They understand the principles of horse rescue and the idea, and some of the um, principles of horse behavior and the danger zones around a horse so that now when they get into a situation, they'll be able to keep themselves safe and be more efficient in the rescue of the horse. One, two, three.